Hiluo, the AI video generation platform, also known as Minimax, has released a new model that brings camera controls to image to video processes. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI, and it wasn't that long ago where we shared that Hiluo had added camera controls for their text to video prompts, allowing you to change the camera direction in the middle of a prompt. And you can watch that video right up here and see that in action. Well, now they've added that same capability to image prompting and it works exactly the same way except that you're working with a starting image. So just real quick I'm going to show you a few examples of it and how I've used the camera controls and then you can go play with it yourself provided you got an account over there. Let's start with this one right here. This is the starting image just a bunch of tiny chefs putting the finishing touches on a mushroom omelet and you'll see here that the camera direction that you can access and edit by clicking it is truck left pan right tracking shot. So basically I chose the cinematic preset and when you choose left circling it fills in truck left pan right tracking shot. If I was to choose right circling, you would see that it now says truck right pan left tracking shot. Upward tilt, it changes it here. Left walking, it changes it here. I can also add direction here. For example, if I wanted the camera to push in on these tiny shifts before doing all those things, I'd click here in the prompt and I'd choose the camera controls. I'd click over to free selection and click push in and then that prompt is modified and I would click to generate. Here's the result with truck left, pan right, and tracking shot, which is basically the circling around to the left. Just another take of it, because I like to do multiple takes. This example wasn't actually camera direction. This was using one of their presets that causes the subject in your image to float in the air with mixed results. Here's just running an image to video prompt without camera direction. We have creature wearing a VR headset is walking through a cave, but he's really not walking at all in this example. Tried it again, still not walking in this example, but now I added the camera direction, truck right and tracking shot, and now the camera is tracking the creature and trucking to the right. Another generation with the exact same prompt. Now it did a little arm swing going. Here's the initial shot for this next series. Just uh, a very disturbing image of me with a snake and a cat in a tree. And the prompt was man in a cave has a snake crawling around his arm as a cat swats at the snake from a branch in a tree with the camera direction push in, which is exactly what we're getting there. Here it is with truck left pan right tracking shot. So now when we've got that circle around, that's that preset in the cinematic area that we saw before. Now it actually fills in what the cave looks like and throws in another cat for good measure. Same exact thing, just running the prompt again. He's walking now. This time we do a zoom in as we talk about the snake crawling, which it really wasn't doing that much. And then as the cat swats at the snake from a branch in a tree. Now, just like in the text to video example, you put the camera direction after the segment of the prompt that you want that camera direction to affect. So as the cat swats at the snake from a branch in a tree, we get a slight pedestal down, which is hardly detectable because I followed it with a tilt up, which was probably not a good choice on my part. Here's the initial image, just something you'd see in any home hanging on the wall. The prompt is a photorealistic nun and Satan sharing a drink at a dungeon bar. Cyberpunk Blade Runner vibes. And then we've got the whole truck left pan right tracking shot. That's this cinematic preset right here. And then here's the result. Here is the original image. And then the prompt is squid crawling across a countertop. We are pushing in. We are trucking left. And it's a tracking shot. If I want to edit this prompt or regenerate it or see or change the camera direction that we had there, I can click on recreate, click on replace. It'll bring it up over here. And now when I click these original camera angles, I'll see here that I actually chose manually these three from free selection, truck left and tracking shot and push in, as opposed to one of these presets and cinematic shots, which will create a combination of those free selections on its own. Here's the original image, and the prompt was three people riding a roller coaster in the mountains. And again, I did that cinematic circling because I guess I like it. And here's another take of that with those same camera angles. And here I do a push in and a pedestal up. Finally, the original image. And then the prompt is an active aquarium filled with fish and an octopus, where I say push in and tilt up. And we are following that direction. And a second take with that same prompt. So I won't go on and on because I'm sure you get the idea. But I just wanted to let you know that now you can bring your images to life with that same degree of camera control, which adds a whole new level of creativity and flexibility. If you like hearing about tools like this and their subsequent updates, well, why don't you just subscribe to the channel? You can do that right now if you wanted to, because this is the kind of stuff we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you.
and I will.